WREG News Channel 3 at 10 starts now. Updating breaking news, three women are locked up after Memphis police make a surprising find at a spa just a few blocks from the University of Memphis. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Stephanie Skurlock. Well, the district attorney's office closed Lily Spa and deemed it a public nuisance after police busted the owner and two other women on prostitution charges. WREG's Michael Quandra is live outside that business tonight. Michael, how did police find out about this? Well, Stephanie, it wasn't easy. I'm told officers went undercover for months. They say there's a stripper pole in the lobby of this place, and depending on how much cash you brought in, you'd get offered much more than a massage. Sex sells. That's what police say this business believed. Lily Spa near Park and Highland is accused of operating as a brothel. Oh, no. What? God, dog. The district attorney's office calls it a house of prostitution. They shut this business down late Friday night, declaring it a public nuisance. It's supposed to be for people that want to come to spa and, you know, enjoy themselves and relaxation or what have you. But according to court documents, Lily's spa was also offering happy endings. Police say the spa posted ads like this one on adult websites and escort pages. We found one on Backpage.com advertising sensual body rubs and showing several pictures of women in little to no clothing. It's very shocking. Very shocking because I didn't hear about that. I didn't even know nothing like that was around here. A four month long undercover investigation revealed Danielle Turner as the owner. Police say she's not even a licensed masseuse and shouldn't have been offering the service in the first place. Also, they shouldn't do things like that in a business. Just like Turner, police say Melanie Gibson also worked at the so called spa and is charged with prostitution, promoting prostitution, money laundering, and impersonating a licensed professional. Officers say Siren Lewis is also involved in all of this, but couldn't say exactly how. She's charged with disorderly conduct. This was a little different. It's been a while since we've had um, this type of activity in, in Memphis and Shelby County. District Attorney Amy Wyrick hopes closing this spa will help families feel safer, and she has a message for other businesses out there breaking the law. If you want to break the law under the name of your business, we're going to come after you, and we're going to shut you down, and we're going to tell you we don't want you here. Now, all three of those ladies arrested will be in court on Monday for their charges. Now, the owner of this business, she'll be in environmental court later on in the week as the judge decides whether or not this place deserves to stay shut down. We have you covered live in the U of M area near Orange Mound. Michael Quander, WREG News Channel 3. All right. Thank you, Michael.